Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today you will watch me do a regular gel X set service through nail prep, nail application, and then the design itself. So I'm going to start off by applying some cuticle softener on all of her nails, then grabbing my cuticle pusher and pushing back her cuticles gently. This is really important because I want to remove all the death skin that's stuck on her nail plate. I always say that cuticle care is really important in the retention of your gel X sets. So if you're struggling with your nails popping off or lifting within a week or two, the problem may be that you're not taking care of your cuticles, removing them properly. So now I'm going in with my 240 grit sanding band with my e-file at a speed of 3000 RPMs. And I'm just gently buffing her nail, going around the cuticle first, and then buffing the whole nail. I'm really doing this gently. I'm not even putting any pressure to it. You really don't want to thin out that nail. You just want to add some texture and remove that shine. This is probably the most gentle, fine grit that you can use, and it's 240. So make sure you're using 240 on the natural nail. And, and not any higher or any lower than that because you don't want to go too rough. Now I'm going in with a cuticle bit like this. This bit is probably my favorite because it's the most gentle. Just make sure you're not applying any pressure on the nail plate. You should be using this almost to push back her cuticles. It's really gonna lift that cuticle up so I can go in with my nipper and I could like easily nip the dead skin. This is probably the most satisfying part of the whole service and I love it. Now I'm going in with my sharp cuticle nipper. You want to make sure that they're sharp so that you're not going to be tugging on any skin and end up injuring your client. But I'm going to be really careful when I do this. Obviously it's sped up so it looks like I'm just nipping away. But I'm being actually really careful and detailed when I do this work. You don't want to end up cutting your client. And if it hurts your client then you're doing something wrong. This should be very painless and very satisfying so just make sure you're doing the right you're doing it the right way and you have put in your practice because you don't want to make them bleed and cause them any pain Now I'm going to go in with some sanitizing alcohol and then also using a brush like this I'm just going to clean her cuticle. This should not burn your client at all. Again like I said if it's causing your client any pain then you've cut too much. And now I'm going in with the IBD dehydrator. I also love the model, model ones, sorry I always say model ones but it's model ones dehydrator. I actually love that dehydrator too so and also I get this question a lot I don't use primer in any service I just haven't had the best experience using primer and it hasn't caused any issues my clients nails last up to eight weeks so retention isn't a problem when it comes to not using any primer now I'm going in with the Tomica gel nail glue and I'm gonna apply a thin layer of that on all of her natural nails and she's gonna cure that for 60 seconds I'm going to be using the Appraise Gel X Nails in Almond Small, I think. Yeah, I think it's Small Almond Natural. I didn't say that in the right order, but that's the name of it. And I'm buffing the inside of the extension to add some texture to help with retention. And then I'm going to apply that slowly and make sure that you're not causing any air bubbles to form and once you like it in that position I'm going to cure it with my flash curing lamp for about 25 seconds. One of the best ways to prevent any heat spikes from happening is to constantly move the light away and onto the nail 
and just in all kinds of directions. Just never hold the flash curing lamp too long in one spot or it's, it may burn your client. So be careful with that. Now I'm going to use the same 240 grit sanding band as I used before and I'm going to use that to buff the extensions and also blend that extension into her natural nail. This process is called sealing the cuticle where I'm going around the cuticle and make sure that it's blending seamlessly into her natural nail. And this is also going to help with retention when it comes to your designs and your extensions. I'm going in with a fine nail file and smoothing all the corners, removing any sharp edges to create that perfect shape. And once you've buffed and filed the extensions to the perfect shape and length, you're going to apply some acetone around the cuticle to blend the extensions into the natural nail. And this is the process I was talking about before called sealing the cuticle so this is really important in the longevity of your nails the retention and to prevent any liftings from happening now i'm going into the design i am using this beautiful shade of red and i'm going to apply two coats of this on a few of her nails Now I'm going to go in with the OPI Bare My Soul Nude Shade and I'm going to apply two coats of that on her index and her pinky finger. So this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to apply a thin layer of blooming gel onto her pinky finger and then put some red color onto a plate like this. Grabbing a dotting tool, I'm going to dot five petals, kind of um, drawing a flower pattern onto that pinky finger and the blooming gel is going to help bloom that color into this beautiful design and I'm just grabbing a liner brush to kind of make it look more like a flower and pulling all of those five dots together. And once it's bloomed to the point you like it, you can cure it. I'm quickly wiping off that gel, that sticky base on the index finger because I'm gonna be going in with a flower petal design using this solid gel. And you're just going to want to roll that solid gel up into five balls. Um, kind of sig signifying a flower petal and then using a silicone tool like this I'm just kind of pushing them together making them flat looking making them look like a petal a flower petal this is kind of hard to explain so I 
I try not to cut any anything from this footage so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing in real time. So yeah, this is kind of the process. You guys will see how I do it. And I'm also using my finger to kind of flatten the petal just to make it make sure that they're all sticking together. And yeah, this is actually really easy. It's easier than it looks. The great thing with solid gel is that it's just solid, so you have your you can take your time and create that perfect petal design. And yeah, this only took like two minutes per hand to do, and it's really beautiful. After this part, I just added some little details like the gold beads in the middle of a flower to kind of make it look more like a flower and I also added some streaks of red into that red flower petal um, and just added some finishing touches to it and top coated it and this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like, subscribe and comment down below if I should make more videos like these. Thank you.